A first look at Austin Butler's terrifying villain, a knife fight before a white wedding, and is that Paul riding a sandworm? Let's take a close look at the complexities of the Dune Part 2 trailer. Denis Villeneuve previously remarked that Dune Part 2 would be treated less as a sequel and more of a continuation of where the first film left off. The trailer proves the truth of that comment, as we kick off with Paul and Chani sharing during a quiet and peaceful moment among the sand dunes of Arrakis. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, you can't reach the bottom. Their brief but sweet interaction here lines up with Villeneuve's intention to make their relationship the heart of the sequel. The trailer is chock full of sweeping landscape shots and images of war and threats that'll soon rain down on Arrakis, but it speaks volumes that the footage opens on something as small and intimate as two space dorks trying to flirt. The Atreides family, of course, has been decimated by Harkonnen forces and compelled to flee into the desert as the last survivors of their house. Paul and the Lady Jessica have no choice but to carry on the late Duke's legacy and attempt to survive among the indigenous Fremen clans deep in the desert. But does the rest of the galaxy assume that all the members of House Atreides have been extinguished too? In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets, but the darkest of them all may remain. Hey, that voice sure sounds familiar! As we zoom in on an image of the Lady Jessica riding among a regiment of Fremen, we pivot to Florence Pugh's rather regal-looking new character. She's Princess Irulan, the daughter of the Padishah Emperor, and even this quick glimpse confirms one major detail straight from the book that will make any hardcore Dune fan happy. The princess appears to be holding up some sort of recorder as she monologues about Arrakis, in line with how author Frank Herbert preceded almost every chapter in the original book with a short excerpt from historical books, diary entries, and other recordings from the future that were credited to Irulan. The only difference, of course, is that the movie version of the character seems to be documenting these events in real time, as opposed to setting them down years later. In any case, her ponderings go on to reveal that, even among the Emperor's inner circle, the possibility that Paul actually lives is starting to take hold. With Paul and Lady Jessica eking out a meager existence with the Fremen, well, it's likely that those shadows are a reference to them. Ask and you shall receive. Ever since Austin Butler was first cast in Dune Part 2, eager fans have awaited the first reveal of his transformation into the role of Fade Rautha, the nephew of Baron Harkonnen and younger brother of Glossu Beast Raban. After the quickest of teases in the recent sneak peek, the trailer finally delivers the clearest look yet of the antagonist in all his smooth-headed glory. His appearance is a far cry from how he's described in the book, but this makeover certainly makes him appear to have a piece of both of the main Harkonnen characters, boasting the formidable physical appearance of Raban, but maintaining the cool intellect of the Baron. We see him later on in full Harkonnen armor, yelling savagely as he stands over another bald-headed individual in what appears to be a fighting pit. Consider this just a taste of what this villain will be capable of throughout the sequel. For anyone who may have had concerns that Dune Part 2 wouldn't delve deep into the fascinating and oftentimes bizarre lore of the original book, worry no more. This tantalizing and out-of-context glimpse of some robed figure holding a vial of water stands out compared to the rest of the quick montage that it follows. Images of the surface of Arrakis bathed in a sickly red light, the Baron standing or floating over a kneeling beast for Bon, flashes of both Paul and Chani out in the desert and suited up in their protective still suits, and a look at Leia Sidhu's new character, Margot Fenring who Villeneuve teased as a Bene Gesserit secret agent. The distinctive robe in this shot might suggest that another member of the Bene Gesserit is holding this vial, but most book readers will immediately think of the crucial Water of Life moment from the second half of the book. Without spoiling anything, it seems clear that things are about to get very weird indeed. Who says Dune can't have a sense of humor? In a scene that most assume would be front and center of the marketing for part two, Paul embarks on the Fremen coming-of-age ritual of riding one of the monstrous sandworms that populate the deserts of Arrakis. This is meant to mark the moment where children become adults, and for a very select few, outsiders are embraced as one of the clan, provided that they can actually pull it off without dying a horrible death, of course. As epic and awe-inspiring as this sequence will surely be, it's somewhat refreshing to see the trailer edited in a way to emphasize Paul's wry sense of humor. Nothing fancy. I understand. Nothing fancy. Humor was an element that some found lacking overall in the first film, but perhaps there'll be some lighthearted moments in between all the doom and gloom of this epic story. There are two major scenes in this trailer that book readers would be most looking forward to, Paul riding the sandworm and the duel to the death between him and Fade Rautha. As the symbolic leaders of their respective houses, the two are practically destined for a collision course that can only end in violence. Expect much of the film to set up just how much of a threat young Fade will pose to Paul and the Fremen. Needless to say, there's no telling exactly how Villeneuve will adapt the events of the second half of Herbert's book, or how many bigger developments in the sequel are being kept under wraps. Either way, avid fans will recognize the menacing sentence that the now blue-eyed Paul utters before his fight. May thy knife chip 
and shatter. And to think this only scratches the surface of what Dune Part 2 will undoubtedly offer. It's going to be a long wait until the spice flows once again. The film hits theaters on November 3rd, 2023.